Hello, princesses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today we are here to talk about the brand new Sonia G Houndstooth Collection, namely the brush envelope and the mini zipper pouch. I want to explain a little bit about these items to you because I think they're very unique and special. This is another one of those items that I purchased just for me. This wasn't even supposed to be something to share, but I was quite surprised when they came much earlier today and I started moving into them. I'll show you what I mean in a moment. And I checked Beautylish and my goodness, they're still available, which is quite surprising to me. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna come on here and just do a little update about them in case you were on the fence. They're still available and for the most part, limited edition, which I'll explain in a moment. Now, I've gotten all my information um, that I'm going to give you here from Sonia G herself and her blog, Sweet Makeup Temptations, which I will link below. And that is where, of course, Sonia G gained all of her all of her fame, really, in showing us this incredible attention to detail about all things Japanese brush making and artistry. And, you know, to make a very long story way too short, Sonia G then went into creating her own brushes, though she still reviews everyone and she's so generous with, um, you know, there's, it's not like a, any sort of a spirit of competition. She's so loving and kind to the craftsmanship of these Japanese brushes. She reviews all of them and creates her own. And really those of us in the makeup community have come to rely on Sonia G's brushes. But, but, as I said, Sonia G is a designer and has an eye on all things brushes. So now we've gotten brush walnut brush holders from Sonia G that are exquisite. And I have two of them and all of mine housed in them. And then finally, we got something a lot of us, including me, I admit, including me, have been asking for from Sonia and that is travel cases. Okay. So let's talk about them and why I like them and why I bought them. Number one, I like to support Sonia G because she is a kind person and a talented person. And when you take talent and kindness and put them together, to me that is magical. That's also why. But I also purchased them because I believe in the products. Yes, you can buy a brush holder at your local drugstore and it does the trick for sure. Let me tell you why I bought these. So we are gonna start with the brush envelope, okay? Now, first of all, both of these, actually, let's do a little bit of information first. Let me switch it up on you. These are in a houndstooth print, and I have to laugh. I, <laughs> the houndstooth print was born in Scotland, and if you read uh, Sweet Makeup Temptations, Sonia G speaks about her love for Scotland and that she has married a Scottish person. And I don't know, uh, Sonia G, we got to get together and share stories because I too have married a Scottish person. That is my uh, Scottish Highland cow there that keeps me company in the background. And I too love all things Scottish, including the person I married who's Scottish. So Sonia G is in the same category as me. We could probably share some stories. Um, and the houndstooth print, which was born, of course, in the 1800s in Scotland, is part of the story of these and her love for Scotland and Sonia G's love for this print. She likes to wear houndstooth scarves, pair them with a little bit of red, she says. And so she has done that here. Now, though these are limited edition, I do have to add something in. If you are watching this video in a few weeks and they're gone off Beautylish, don't worry. The houndstooth print is what is not permanent. This is what's limited edition. But Sonia G does have, I believe, five designs. I'll correct myself if I'm wrong, but I believe five designs, permanent designs coming up that will be in an all black fabric. Okay, so I do want to tell you that if you do miss these, um, it is the houndstooth, which is very dear, near and dear to me, that is going to be the limited edition. Okay, so I just thought I would tell you that really quickly. This jacquard print, we get a little bit of Europe, not only Scotland, but also uh, this was the print and the sewing and things um, that is all done in custom woven and things in France with artisans in France. And then the actual, the actual products are of course made by the finest craftsmen in Japan. So we have a little bit of Europe and Asia coming together 
for these. So why spend the extra money? The brush envelope here that I'm holding in my hand is $85, and the mini zippered pouch is $70 US, but of course Beautyless ships all over the world, they make that really easy. But in US dollars, uh, those are the prices, and you can even buy the two together for $155. No savings there, but they'll just bundle them together for you, which is what I did. And you get these cute little dust bags, um, that not only fit each pouch, but also can be used to hold brushes and other things like that. Okay, the brush envelope, which you'll see in a moment, I've already moved into because I couldn't wait, holds six brushes and it's kind of important. Let me share a few facts with you. So we have a snap right here on the front and then we have uh, Velcro here. Let me show you how it opens and let me tell you why that's important. The Velcro and the snaps, I told you that Sonia G is an expert on all things brushes and care for brushes. And this is all designed not to close on, zipper on, snap on the, you know, most of us that are so into makeup have such expensive brushes. You don't want to take a squirrel hair brush and zip it into something. It can happen. It's happened to me. You probably heard me crying. Okay, so here we have this folds out. Now I have put four brushes in here. So this will fold out, lay open on a table for you to work from. This has also, look at this. So here, this is removable, this little guy. Let me take it out for you. What is this? This is like a little, like a liner. It's a, it's a flap, we'll call it. And it can remove or it can go in. Why do you need it? It will cover up your brushes, keep anything from getting any makeup on it, and keep the brushes themselves uh, protected because basically Sonia G has had all those same issues and more traveling that we've all had so she's looking for ways to fix this um, also this little pouch can come in or out this little uh, flap I should say and then there's a little I don't know if you could see that in here a little storage area you know where you can put a sponge or you know some cotton buds or things like that that you might need for your makeup application. Check out, I'm gonna do a little bit of a close up here so you guys can see past my brushes that are in there. Look at the lining. I want you to just take a look at this lining. This lining is a, a custom woven and coated two times to make it stand up to wear and tear. This lining, by the way, according to Sonia G's uh, Sweet Makeup Temptations blog, this lining will also be in the permanent uh, black collection that's coming out that's not houndstooth. So you'll get this same black on black design uh, in those as well. So I've moved in here with four of my brushes. They can go either direction. You can store them in either direction, but it will fit six, which is perfect for travel, perfect for throwing in your bag. And though we have sizes on the website, if you are like me, and I am, you know, I was an English major in school, so um, I'm not a math person. I'm putting this together now to just kind of show you how big it is. I mean, you know, we know how big it is when we see the inches, but just to kind of show you in my hands how big this is here. Very small, and it can be thrown into a bag and used. This washes off really easily. I'm very excited to use it, and I don't feel it will get dirty because there's so much protection inherent inside with the flap and it being plastic, and you can wipe it down in the double lining. Let's take a look at the mini zipper pouch. This one is really just really for fun here. And this guy is can be into your purse. This is definitely limited edition. I think the design might be as well. If you are like me and you use a tote, I'm right now, sometimes I use the Louis Vuitton Neverfull or different totes. Depending upon, you have this wide open giant area in your bag. And I love, love, and this is gonna be such a fun addition, these little pouches, we have the same touch of red here on the zipper. And inside we have that same double lining. I don't know if you could see that. I haven't moved into this one yet, but this is gonna go in my bag. And this can hold a brush if you want. It can hold lipsticks. And actually, in fact, even the little zipper pouch here, I would probably use those two free slots in there. You know, I had four brushes and I would probably use those two free slots for lip glosses or even a lipstick. They'll fit that. But here you can put your lip gloss, a little tissue packet, um, bus pass, that kind of thing. You could even, it, we got a little key ring here on the end. Let me see if you can see that. You could attach this to something. You could throw it in a tote. Um, you could throw it moms, young moms. You could throw it in a diaper bag and put some cool things in it and still look stylish and chic and have that double lining that's just kind of as you can hear, 
would wipe clean really easily. So I am super excited about this. This is for fun and I'll use it every day. This will be for travel or for a bag when I'm out and about. I feel really just kind of privileged to have this. I love the fact that we have Asian, the artistry in Japan with that jacquard that's woven in France and that nod to the lovely people and place that is Scotland. So it is just a really exciting thing for me. And I love the fact that Sonia G is taking her knowledge, crafting brushes, and then crafting this whole world of goods around the brushes. So I am a big fan, I admit, bought these for myself saw they were still available. Now the five or so designs that are gonna be just in black were actually supposed to precede this limited edition houndstooth, but you know, with uh, the virus and all that, it's changed the way uh, things are produced and whatnot. So we actually got this fun little edition first. Why not? So these are first, they are still available on Beautylish. You can use my links below to check them out and pick them up for yourself and also be on the lookout for the all black collection. I think it is worth your money to have this style and this attention to detail. Can you buy another brush case? Certainly, but for me, this is has everything I could need plus the integrity and the design. So I'm a big fan, wanted to share it with you. Let me know, did you place an order? Are yours coming? Were you, are you interested? What are your thoughts? Um, please let me know below and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.